We're stirring two grams of salicylic acid, two milliliters acidic anhydride, and ten drops of phosphoric acid into a 125 milliliter flask. And while we're doing that, we are boiling about 200 milliliters in a 400 milliliter flask, which we will put our 125 milliliter flask in as soon as it is boiling. Taking the 150, 125 milliliter flask of our different solutions into our boiling water, and we're going to put it in there until it completely dissolves. Oh yeah. So do you just want to place it in there? Yes. So it is completely dissolved and it is a liquid. Did you go it around? Oh yeah. And then we're going to stick it in this ice bath. Awesome. Don't we add the water to it now? Yes. So now we are going to add 20 milliliters of ice water to our... Actually we're going to transfer it to this flask. Sorry. So we're going to put this in here? The flask into the... Yeah. That way we can actually scrape it with the glass rod. Oh. So, so we added it to 20 milliliters of ice water and we're going to add that we'll probably yeah, stir it around just a little bit. Glass rod. Cool. We're going to add it to the ice bath. All right. Yes, ma'am. We are done with the cooking process. Vinegar. <laughs> um, so we are going to let that sit for a little bit, and there should be crystals that form in it. And eventually, if there are no crystals, we are going to scrape it. So this has been sitting here for what about like ten minutes? And we're going to go ahead and section it in our Bushner funnel, which is over here. It's got a filter in the top already. I'm going to pour that in there. Probably need a glass rod. That is plenty. Cool beans. So now what we're going to do, is there a top to it? No, I don't think so. Alright, so we turn the nozzle on and it is going to suction it. Can I move? Hmm? Can I move? Yeah, definitely. Go for it. Okay, so it is wet, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't suction yet until we turn it on. Gotcha. Oh, cool. Are you putting on Snapchat? No. Oh. Yeah, my partner's not here. <laughs> my usual. Cool beans. So maybe we should use the glass, the glass rod to like maybe separate it a little bit. You think? Okay. Just kidding, because that's not coming out. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're going to wash the crystals on the filter paper with two 10 milliliter portions of cold water, which we have 20 milliliters here. I didn't see any other steps, honestly. And we're going to leave this on. 10 milliliters of cold water. And it's going to suction this out. I'll give it two seconds. I'm just give it a little bit. Although I think it's fine. Yeah. All right. And then we're gonna add another ten milliliters. Cool. All right. 
Next, we're gonna put 10 milliliters of ethanol in. 10 milliliters of cold ethanol while it's still suctioning. We should probably turn the suction off, actually. So we did not turn the suction off. It's still going. We've added the ethanol. Cool. And now we wait five minutes. It went ahead and transferred it from the suction tool. I can't remember the name. And I'll just make a towel. And we're going to pat it dry now. Made sure we didn't scrape too hard to, so we didn't take any of the filter. And then we are going to transfer it to a test tube. Yeah, let's use Alrighty, so then uh, now that we have pat patted it dry, that's what it looks like. And we're gonna take a pinch and transfer it to a test tube. We are going to accidentally break of things. We're gonna transfer it to our test tube number two that we've labeled. We have a test tube number one that is Alrighty, so then uh, now that we have pet patted it dry, that's what it looks like. And we're gonna take a pinch and transfer it to a test tube. We are going to Break of things. <laughs> yeah, transfer it to our test tube number two that we've labeled. So we transferred our own aspirin into test tube number two and we kind of took a glass rod and separated a little bit to try and you know, dissolve it. Now we are adding 10 drops of iron 3 chloride to each of these test tubes. So the first one is our sicilic acid. And the second one is our own aspirin, and the third one is, oh wow, that's crazy. So that means it is a phenol, if it reacts like that. So, first one, or first one, silic acid, very dark purple, and the second one, which is our own, ooh, very light tint, which is awesome, good result. Wow, and that is actually Bayer, which has even more purple, so it means even more phenol, which means we did an even better job. Here we are.